ahead and did this eyeshadow look for you guys in today's video. I didn't do my skin just because it is the exact same um, routine that I always do. So I thought I just don't want to add that in today's video. Um, but I did record this eyeshadow for you step by step. So if you guys are interested in um, seeing how I created this eyeshadow look, then definitely please keep on watching. Um, but first, if you are new to my channel, hi! My name is Sandy Harkin and I absolutely love animals, right? I love puppies, I love dogs, makeup is my obsession, and I'm so glad that you are here today with me, um, and hopefully you do enjoy today's video. Of course, give this video a thumbs up if you like this eyeshadow look and if you would wear this. Um, but without further ado, you guys, besos, los quiero mucho, and let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. I'm going to go into my Morphe M441 brush and then taking the color Heat Wave, I'm going to place this in the crease and then blend it back and forth from the inner and outer corner but just mainly focusing the shade in the crease. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color um, called Naked and using my Morphe M514 brush which is a smaller blender brush and I'm going to go ahead and buff out the edges. With the same M514 brush, I'm going to pick up the color Sand and I'm going to use very light pressure, you guys, and just blend out the edges. So I go in with a lighter lighter brown color so that way it's not super harsh and you kind of give it like an ombre effect. And then I'm going to pick up the color um, Equator and I'm going to use the same small little brush. And I'm going to start to just warm it up and give it some more darkness in the crease. And then we'll start to put it towards the outer and inner corner since we are going to be creating kind of like a halo eye look today. Um, and so you want to just build up the intensity and go as dark as you wish. But I just really sit here and just blend everything. Now I wanted more of a dark, dark brown color, so I went into the James Charles and Morphe palette. I'm picking up the color Benny and a little bit of Spooky, um, and I'm going to start to really darken it up a little bit more in the crease, as well as taking those eyeshadows in the inner and outer corner. So since I don't want it to be super, super black, that's why I did go into Benny, which is a darker brown color, so that way it's not super intense. Now it's totally up to you. You can definitely go in straight with black, but I personally you know, like to kind of build up the darkness. So that's why I go in with a darker brown first and then I'll add black if I need to. Now it's time to create our halo eye, you guys. I'm gonna go into, of course, my Eden Primer by Urban Decay. I'm using my Sigma Concealer Brush, the F75. Now, if you like a dupe for this brush, um, the Morphe M224 is um, a dupe for that brush. But if you do wanna save 10% with using my code Sandy at checkout with Sigma, you do save a little bit of dinero. Um, so basically, I'm going to place the color right only in the center of the eye. Now, you don't wanna extend the primer out too far or are too much in the inner corner because we're trying to create a halo eye so we just want the product in the center of the lid um, and then after we do that we're gonna go ahead and go back into the Jeffree Star palette um, and for the main lid to set that primer I'm gonna go into the shade priceless and just um, place it in the center of the the lid. Now, I don't want anything too intense or too glittery on the main lid. I want it to be more matte, but definitely up to you and what you prefer. I'm going to pick up my Morphe M514 brush again and taking the color Naked back to the 35G bronze palette, and I'm going to start to apply it in the outer edges on both sides of my eyes. Now I do take my time here, so I do build up the intensity as much as I want to. You can definitely stop there, um, but I personally just really like to take my time and apply, you know, multiple layers just so that way, one, it can last a lot longer, um, and two, you can really notice it, notice the color when you do take a picture. Um, but I just personally am so used to just um, building and adding more layers to eyeshadows, and then I just take my time and blend everything together. Now you guys, I know that I'm using a palette that was limited edition, but a dupe would be the 35R palette by Morphe, which I will list in the description box if you guys are interested. And then still using the same brush, I'm going to go back into the color Benny from the James Charles palette. And I'm going to start to just um, blend out the edges as well. But then whatever I have left remain on my brush, I do buff it into the crease um, just very slightly. You don't want to go in too crazy. And then I do go back in to Naked and I start to blend um, Benny and Naked together. 
And then I do actually go back into spooky and add some more definition. Then I'm gonna go into the Schwing Black Liner from the Bomb Cosmetics and I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of like a half moon. Um, and then I don't like to take it all the way in or out because we are going to apply black eyeshadow in just a second. I'm gonna go into my Sedona Lace, the EB21 brush, and I'm gonna go back into the 35G bronze palette, taking the shade Deep End, which is the black matte eyeshadow in the palette, and I'm gonna start to just press the eyeshadow. Um, so the reason why I didn't take the liquid liner all the way towards the edges is because I kinda want a more like airbrush effect rather than harsh. Now, some people do like to take it all the way towards the inner and outer corner, and then they can still blend out the liquid liner with the eyeshadow, but I feel like that's just much more work. Um, so work smarter, not harder. Um, and then that's all I'm going to be doing here is just pressing in the eyeshadow because you don't want to see where the liquid liner stopped. So just take your time and blend that out. Um, and then I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner Glitter in the shade Midnight Cowboy, and I'm going to place that right in the crease. Um, but I do not extend it all the way towards the outer or inner corner. I mainly just focus that in the crease of my eye. Then I'm going to go into some loose glitter and I'm taking the Violet Voss Rosalind glitter and I'm going to use my MAC 266 brush and I'm going to start to go ahead and just place it above the liquid liner. Um, again, you guys, I don't use a glitter adhesive. I like to use more the liquid glitters from Urban Decay and then I press in the glitter and it still stays for me. Now recently I've been so obsessed with like chunkier glitters. This is from Michaels. Um, you can use whatever glitter you want, but I really like the effect that this gives the eyeshadow look. So I'm just, um, I applied more of the liquid um, glitter liner up on top of the previous glitter we just used and I just pressed this in using the same um, MAC 266 brush. And then I'm gonna go into my Buxom Eye Pencil, and this is just in the shade black, and I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my eyes. And then I'm gonna go into the KKW Beauty um, Bible um, Mascara, and I'm gonna just coat my lashes, and going into the Coco Lashes in Style Venus, I am so obsessed with these lashes, you guys. They're super lightweight on my eye, and then they just look so beautiful. Going back to that Buxom Black um, Eye Pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and just smudge out the bottom lash line. And then to just set that and blend it out, I'm gonna go back into my Sedona Lace, the EB21 brush, and picking up the shades Heat Wave and Deep End and start to smudge that out and make it um, a little bit more smoky. Now it's totally up to you. You don't have to actually do this step or you can, you can do it, but just make it less intense if you like. Um, it's totally up to what you like for your bottom lash line. To highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, I go back into the James Charles palette, taking the shade Ring Light, um, and then I go back into that Buxom um, pencil, and I start to apply it in my waterline. Um, I do use my MAC 266, um, another one, not the one that we use to apply glitter, and I go back into the shade Deep End, and I set that liner, so that way it doesn't go anywhere. And then I go back into the KKW Beauty Mascara and apply some mascara towards my bottom lashes. All right, my honeys, and that's pretty much it for today's eyeshadow look. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below and let me know if you would wear this eyeshadow look. And of course, if you do recreate this, please tag me on Instagram. I love to see your guys' recreations. It really makes me so happy. Um, and of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Los quiero mucho. Besos. Bye, guys.